All right, Saturday, November 23rd. Just getting ready to go set some beaver traps. I got a nuisance beaver job here at the golf course. This is all their land here behind me. They got a big ridge here, and then back behind there's a golf course where the beavers damming up one of the bridges. But uh, just got my permission slip here to park because I'm right along the road here and uh, got my number on it in case. Law wants to give me a call and figure out what I'm doing, but I already went down to the river and down the creek there and scouted out um, where the sign was, so did that with an empty load just so I wasn't carrying all that weight back in there. I got three 330s and a number three foothold in there, so um, I got two one and a halfs and a 110 too in case I see something that I just got to put in for mink. I didn't see much muskrat sign. Though the groundskeeper did say that he's got uh, a muskrat problem that we'll talk about. So that'd be good. Get a little more fur in the shed. Doors locked. I got my lure, hatchet, trowel, traps, wire, uh, wire snips. All right. I had to cut myself a selfie stick. So I'm not carrying it just like this. But uh, going to walk through this thick, thick stuff here to the ridge there you see there. Hop on a golf cart trail and go set some steel. All right, see you there. Well, I'm not in here yet, but uh, somebody, what the hell? <laughs> That stuff in there is thick. Whew. Pretty though. Not your usual, uh, not your usual trapping views. It's not a beaver slough by any means, but sure is pretty. bunch of fresh buck sign in there fresh rubs and and that so it'd be cool if I could get a camera in there or something but, all right so here's the channel and oh man is it red hot I mean come on fresh cuts in there I don't know if you can see that Fresh cuts in there, right there, up in there a little bit. Courtesy golf ball. Probably gonna, water finally gets deep enough for a trap right there at the mouth, so might have to do a little bit of guiding, but uh, a couple guide sticks to take care of that. Oh. And then, as we continue to mosey this way, along this little creek, Deer trail. There's another another slide. I don't know if you can see that. There's a clump of like old tag alders or something that I thought would be good for poke sticks. But maybe a I was thinking maybe a foot trap, but now that I look at it, the water doesn't look deep enough to drown them. So we'll keep going this way. And uh Real subtle. There's another slide right here. You can tell the grass is all worn down, smooth. And he's kind of going there. I don't really see any fresh cuts in there though. But, and then in here, there's a secondary channel kind of in there. And, uh, oh man, I don't think you can see in there. Oh. Hands and knees, whatever it takes. Then in there, you might be able to see all that fresh red. I got a tag alder all chewed up. 
And there's actually a really big buck rub on the back side of one of them tag holders. So, might put another 330 at the mouth of that channel there. I walked this creek, I don't know, it's probably half to three quarter mile by the time it does all its twists and turns and stuff. And uh, I couldn't find any sign of like a feed pile for winter or uh, like a bank den or nothing. So there was one offshoot that I didn't go down. So maybe he's in there, but it's a uh, quarter after 11 now. And uh, oh, today's my anniversary. So better get these traps set and then hurry back home. Spend some time with the, with the woman there. So. All right, get these traps set and I'll give you an update. <coughs> All right, well, as you can see, got my 330. I'm gonna push that into the mud a little bit so it's completely submerged, but. Got three dead sticks. And then if I need to, just for like a little bit of blocking or something, I'll use this kind of green one. But yeah, 330 fits the channel pretty good. I think with my two stake elizers on the sides there, not much more is needed. I'm, I'm gonna put a dive stake just for good measure, but the only thing is I gotta remember to take them safeties off. I'm not gonna do that again. I learned the hard way a long time ago to do that, so. <laughs> but I figure before I muddy the water all up, I'd show you guys the set and uh, hopefully we got a beaver here tomorrow morning. Alright. Alright. Two stakes, dive steak. Safety number one. Safety number two. Nice and wash any scent. And uh, make it pretty. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. <coughs> and I just got it chained right there. The thicker steak, but should be good. All right, got a Bilal 330 there. Safety one is off. Safety two is off. I'm trying to do it without moving around too much. But a little bit of a channel here. And then in there you can see some fresh, fresh chewings. And then this little willow here. I don't know how fresh these are, but and then I might go up in there and add a little dappler or something. I don't know how active this channel is, but I'm gonna take a piece of wire there and I got a cable my end of it and I'm just gonna tie it to that big tag holder because it's not really all that deep right here where I'm standing for a stake so back up out of here a little bit see how murky it gets though as soon as I move so set number two should be good not even not even 50 yards from the first one so, alright. Beautiful morning on the golf course. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a flock of about 15 turkeys over there. And I can't tell if any of them got a beard. Not that it matters. It's cool to see them though. That must be an oak because they were all huddled around it. But, uh, got a little bit of rain last night. I can't tell if these traps are set off. This one is not. I got a fresh smack of mud right there. It's a dick. I'm pretty sure I had a dive stick on this one. Belle Isle and 
a little bit of beaver, beaver lure, I think was the ticket. Size beaver. Yeah, baby. We're skinning beaver. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Yeah. I think that lure was the was the ticket. I put it up on a little tree that he had been chewing and uh, put a little, my little stir stick. I put the lure just, just above the water and I could see where it was kind of starting to seep into the water a little bit and then it was running right past the trap here. But dug that channel out a little bit so it was a submerged trap and we got a little rain last night which helped submerge it even further. Top of the jaw might have been showing a little bit but one night one beaver. Oh man, I'm excited. Oh, and I brought a pot of coffee, so I'm gonna sit here on the bank with this beaver and enjoy it. Whoo! Yes. This thing love off, baby.